any harm here. Uh, the rain has stopped, but it's still a little too windy for me to do tests outside on the fruit stove. So I thought I'd address a couple of questions that I've been getting through emails and stuff of whether or not the fruit stove could be used with alcohol, either by putting a stove inside or by just using alcohol in the stove. So that's what I'm going to do here today. The one I'm going to use is the one that has the solid bottom. The holes are up from the bottom of the pot, so you can put alcohol in here. This first run that I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol in and we'll see what the flames are like. Then after that I'll break away, let everything cool off, and I'll uh, do a boil test. Okay, I'm just doing enough alcohol, denatured alcohol in here to cover the bottom of the inside can. Not using a huge amount, that was probably maybe a third of an ounce, if that. Okay, it's setting there. You're getting fumes in this now, so my suggestion would be to light it from the side. See if that works. Nope, didn't work. Okay, we'll try lighting it from the top then. Now we should get a fair amount of flames here. This is a test that don't do this indoors like I am. This should be done outside. Okay, I got my number two camera here. You can see the jets that are coming in on the holes. just like that. We got jets down at the bottom of the can. So it's doing a pretty good burn here. We're getting a fair amount of flames. nice heat. So it does look like the stove will burn, or will use alcohol for the fuel to burn. And I am getting enough It's sucking air in through the bottom, warming it up so that it comes in through the top holes. I showed you on that earlier little view there that I do have jets burning on the inside, on the bottom and the top. The flames are trying to be blue. I don't know if you can see them on this, but there's probably a lot of residue on the inside of the can from the uh, wood pellets and from the other wood that I used that it's making the flames a little yellow. Okay, and there it runs out. So it does seem to work with it. So what I'll do now is I'll let this all cool off and I'll set it up to do a boil test. So I'll be right back. Hi, hi, I'm here again. I'm back for the second part of this little video, this lab, where I'm using alcohol in the fruit stoves. I've got a fruit stove here, the same one, but I put a hardware cloth uh, pot stand on the top. These are half inch squares by three high. I have 30 milliliters of denatured alcohol that I'm putting in the bottom of the pot that doesn't reach the holes that are in the or the bottom of the can there, the inner can. It doesn't reach the holes there. I've got two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. This time I'm going to use what we used to call in Boy Scouts a hillbilly flashlight so that I can reach down in without having to get my hands down there with the match. Put it on there like that. Just stick it down in there. It's lit. Okay, I'm going to put the pot on right away. 
and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, that looks like 435. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil, rolling boil, in 4 minutes and 35 seconds. Let's see how long this goes, goes to run out. And there we have run out at 5 minutes 54 seconds. 5 minutes 54 seconds. Cool. So basically the way this turned out was I had 2 cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full rolling boil in 4 minutes and 35 seconds and ran out in 5 minutes and 54 seconds. So that would have given me two cups of water that I could drink as far as you know the germs and stuff being burned off, boiled off. Okay, there's not much of any residue on there. I was afraid maybe I burned it off on that first test that I did with just a plain alcohol. A couple of changes here that maybe I could make. Maybe this only needs to be two squares high instead of the three. That makes it an inch and a half. Plus the flames are all the way down here at the bottom of the inner pot, inner can rather. Another change that I might do is I had talked about how changing the inner can to a shorter can for the wood pellets, that might also work for the alcohol too. Since the alcohol only sets in the can up to, you know, the level of the holes here. Interesting. So. For those of you that asked, yes, it does indeed seem to work with alcohol. That was, to go over it again, that was 30 milliliters of denatured alcohol. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a full rolling boil in 4 minutes and 35 seconds and ran out in 5 minutes 54 seconds. So as always, I thank the people that sent me that question and whenever this weather starts slowing down a little bit between the rain and the wind I'll get back outside and start doing some more fruit tests using wood, wood pellets. I have a version here of the Everything Nice stove in using the same cans. I want to try that and it should be kind of busy. So I thank you for your interest, your you know the whole bit your comments, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin. And I know it's never gonna end.